hello guys welcome to today's video tutorial and today guys i want to show you how to uh, manage the facebook messenger kits that we just created on our previous tutorial on this video so this is going to show you more on how to control the facebook messenger kits if you already created your account and if your kit is already signed in more of like if you want your kid to be signed out on uh, at a specific time like sleeping time and awake time so whenever you want the facebook messenger to automatically turn off and they would no longer have access to it probably you want them to sleep at that particular time you can also control this even though you are not close to your kids you can always control it remotely maybe you traveled you can just come to the facebook messenger kids control area and manage it so let me show you guys what i mean by that first of all open the facebook app make sure you're already logged in with the admin account which you manage the kids account with now come over to see more and then click on the facebook messenger kids it should be somewhere around here just because i've selected it a little it's going to be here so click on it and it's going to be updated and displayed for you so once you see this option you can notice there is only one kids contact that you have right here you can go ahead and click on that and wait for it to display so once it displays you can see all this information uh all the information that your kids has been into so far this is the account he has chat with and this is the two message that um he has received so far and he also received a message from this person and if he received more message from any of the contacts on the contact group you are going to see them display right here on the contact area here you can notice when you click on this um question icon you can notice it shows you brief information about what that section is all about so let's let me click on okay and scroll down now you can notice um the contacts which you uploaded or added so far so if you want to know more about it you can click on this option to see more and if you disagree with any of the contacts that your kid has been chatting with you can go right here under the contact section to remove whichever contacts you want to remove now you guys should know that this is just a tutorial base so i'm going to go ahead and delete every other thing once i'm done so um if you come over to the control session there are more settings you can right go ahead and click on edit info to go on to edit more info you can select male and female to select which gender that you choose for the kid you can go right um to the um, name section to change the name of the kids that you are currently working on so once you're done with that you can still come over to the date of birth section to still change the date of birth if that is not accurate or if you want to change it to the accurate date of birth and once you're done you can just go right and save it but if you want to delete this account for some reason you can notice where it says delete you can go ahead and select delete if not let's go ahead and save this so um on this section you can notice it has a sleep mode which i mentioned earlier if you click on the sleep mode you'll be able to select which time you want your kids to be available for chat and when you want them to go offline if you want to set that go ahead and select this drawable icon and you can notice it has this start time and it has this stop time so go ahead and select the start time for it to start at a specific time so it's actually going to start around eight and whenever you want it to stop it's also going to stop but i think i'm going to start it around 8 a.m um it's it i think that's a bit too early let me make it nine and then it's going to stop around uh this is not bad so depending on you um probably if the kid is ha actually having a session in school you can make them to start at a specific time and stop at a specific time and then on saturdays you might set that to be a bit longer so probably you might want them to start early since it's saturday and you want them to stop um maybe 
a bit late depending on you anyway so you 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 should just decide which mode or which is best for them so they will be spending like 10 hours more uh, weekly and 14 hours on the weekend if that is too much just make sure you reduce that for any reason so that is the sleep mode so it's going to start at this specific time and end at this specific time so guys if you want to learn more about um your kids connect you can click on the learn more about the kids connect and if you want to if you want to allow your children's um, if you want to allow other children and other parents that you've added as your kids contact to see their name and photo you can allow that here and if you want to disallow it you can always click here to disallow that so once you click on it they will no longer be able to see the name and photo but i think i want that to be active because um it's just okay if they know who they are chatting with so let me go ahead and back out so if there are more things you want to set like setting them to be active online you can go ahead and click on active and if you want them to go offline to stay um on a self mode like um probably you don't want people to know that they are online you can just click on that so it's left by you to choose so now friend adding you know that's already set on friend adding so you can always select that and if you want to log out your child from the messenger you can go ahead and click on this logout so now if you click on logout you can notice it's displaying different devices that i'm actually logged in on the kids account so i can go ahead and log them out on this device by clicking on logout and you can notice it says um logout once i'm logged out so it's loading now you can notice it's logged out and if you want to log them back in you can just go to that device and log them in on that device and that's it so um if you guys are okay with it this is just how to do it and if you want to add another um account maybe probably this is the parent account maybe this is the father and you want to add the mother you can go ahead and click on add another account so you can add another account that is going to be the parent by selecting them and you should you should make sure that you already selected the parent on on the contact previously if not it's not going to be displayed here but if for some reason you want to search that you can go ahead and search for it um right here so um once you search for it it displays right here for the contact so whichever one you search and whichever parents you are going to add it's always going to display so after you've searched it just go ahead and add it and they'll be added at the second parent and they will also have the same privilege as you so they will be able to control remove log out and do everything that you are doing also as the parent so guys that's all for this video if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe like the video and share with your friends see you guys soon on my next video stay home and stay safe peace